And we're live. Yes, we are. Uh, do we have transcoding? We have transcoding. Excellent. Let's let's log into game then. So yes, we're here. We're live. Welcome to the stream, one and all. Although I don't, there's that many of you here yet, because. We have literally just started the stream. So, yes, and let's get the game on the go. Iraq, first, first one here. You are actually, yes, you, you are in fact the first, the first one here. My gain's a little low on this, hang on. Is that, uh, there you go, that's, that's a little better. We are here. Yes, we are. Raid for all are doing a thing. And... Yay! Hello! Down in the corner. <laughs> My frame rate got... I'm a little um, overexposed there, I think. Bring a video. No. never quite right that whatever I set it that'll have to do oh yes indeed there we go as you can see yes we're here in Inferno nothing that much new on the tune except they no longer get XP they no longer get XP um, because they're level 200. Yes, we are. Oops, excuse me, hiccups. Yes, because we are, in fact, level 200. Savik, welcome to the stream. <laughs> stream that. Yeah, so we're level 200. I've done my um, faction 50k redeemed. Because of course, a high B, a high B cow. Yes, I sent Savik the screenshot. I wasn't deliberate actually. I didn't think I'd hit um, 200 by um, <clears throat> just doing dailies today, but I did. I got. I think it's the the darkest dungeon gives more XP than I, uh, than you expect it to. I think. I need a bunch of buffs though. We need to get back to Rubicar. So it's Friday, we've hit 200. I would like to get a few levels. Yeah, it's more than a normal daily. I went in there and I was uh, I was like about there and I just dinged and I was like, oh. <laughs> I sent you the screenshot, I think. Um, so yeah, you know. Go back to Rubicar and get some buffage, I'm thinking. Yes, indeed. Jai Ronimo, there we go. So it could be time ish. Well, what I'd really like to do is upgrade some of these. I mean, I really should have a better implant in, <laughs> in the chest than that one, um, or in, uh, symbiont rather. But the, the ones I've got lined up, I can't get on. Well, I, I probably could, but it would take a lot of work. Um, whereas it would be simpler and easier, probably, to simply level. Um, you know. Have I got any filters turned on here? Oh, all is good. Right. Simit, welcome to the stream. Londis, welcome. Growing or living would be about right for 200. Yeah, I think, but they're damned expensive. But animated. Oh, a prototype one in the right arm. And the chest is low. Some of the others are okay. The left arm isn't bad. I've got some, but I just haven't put them in. Like These were implants I put in, at, uh, symbionts I put in at level 60. 
I'm level 200 now, so I still can't add IP to my base ability. So what I thought the thing to do were... You can start spending again a little... Um, around... That's a cool look. What is this you're wearing, Mr. Sleepy Times? Cryguard N1 helmet. That's nice stuff. He's sneaking from me. Uh, N1 suit. Cryguard. That's cool. I've not seen that for a very long time. Nice. Christmas 2018. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. A sub. Yeah, one of the sub bonuses. Yeah. You bought a year, you got more. The man with no name, hello all. Welcome to the stream, man with no name. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's have a look. I'm just logging the Froob. I think my Froob has got all the symbionts I was thinking of using. So we'll have a quick look. My mule. Ugh, itchy ear. I've only had the headphones on for a couple of minutes. Already itchy ear. You never stick anything down your ears. Your ear holes. Or as my grandmother used to say, the only thing you should put down your ear is um, <laughs> your elbow. You can waggle the outside to rattle anything out of it. But that's about as much as you should do. Right, okay. I broken this side. It's can we can we that, there we go. Can we just you know? Can we just get on with things? Let's have a look. We have um, was it this bag? So I've got persisting, living. They're all one five four. So we're not a bazillion miles away from some of these. Definitely not going to get into what that's a, <laughs> that's a, um, a beta beta. We're not getting that in. Um, I think I had a thigh as well somewhere. What was this? And living. That's another infantry. I was thinking maybe get that on last time, but we couldn't do it. We could not get into it. I've also still got all these wonderful gifts here. Uh, which we are not getting on yet. I probably would be much closer once I, I got a few other things done. But we don't have those. Um, yeah, I think I think the thing to do is log out here. I'll log out the little other. Uh, I will log out the mule and buff myself a couple of times. Um, I think the thing to do is get a bit of 201 you can get um, IP into your base abilities again can't you is that right it is something like that I'm not entirely sure yeah plus 15 so like a couple of levels and you know we're, we're not going to be looking too bad are we I'm going to just bump log, give myself combin fuses, I think. Mr. Gulls. There we go. Oh, I haven't social media. I've just reminded myself. We will social media. There's one. And book face. We'll do book face. Anarchy Online group, they can have a notification. There we go. Mm. 
fuses. Mind you, I could do maybe 205. Okay. I was thinking of doing um, the bigger one, but no. That's that group. And then a couple more. My own group on Facebook that <laughs> nearly nobody ever goes to. Uh, but I faithfully publish things in every time. Right, okay, I think that is all the things. Don't social media while bump logging. I still managed to do it though, didn't I? Did you notice? I, I, still, I still managed to do it. Because... <laughs> Well, basically, because I remembered is, you know, <laughs> it's about the only reason that. Am I loud enough, by the way? I'm looking at the level on, on the thing. It's just hitting the red, which I, I think of as the, the sweet spot. The sound is great. Fantastic. That's what we like. If anyone did their um, dailies today and they had Enigma dogs and you found a dog with causating screen and um, essence of beer moth, that was my one. <laughs> so then, um, what are you drinking, a jug? Of coffee. No, it's tea. It's a pint pot of tea. Because I can actually get my fingers in the handle. Most most mugs. Um, wait there. I'll sh I'll show you what I mean. can't show you what I was going to show you, which was a standard cup. I can just about get two fingers in there, <laughs> but they're all in the dishwasher. Um, right, okay. Uh, what should we do? Well, we want to get XP. We could do a mission. I mean, a pint is not a lot more liquid than... It's a little over half a litre. Is it 562 millilitres or something? Blowing on the mic. Um, I could get a better HP buff, I think. Arr, Lundis. <laughs> uh, let's go back to Shadowlands for a start. Yeah, it's a mug of tea. I'm not a fan of coffee. Nothing against caffeine, per se. I'm just not keen on coffee. Um, yeah, just never really have been. We've got quests we could be getting started on, couldn't we? Yes, we do. Let's... Stephen Richards' quest. We're 200 now. We should be able to pull most of them. A vast ye scurvy salve. <laughs> oh, it's all gone full pirate here. Yes, it has. Right, let's talk to Stephen Richards and give him money. I don't think we've got maybe enough time to do all this, but the stages in this quest. The, fir one, the first uh, one he sends you to is a nightmare. And thereafter it gets easier. Sign me up. We give him this back and 10k. 
Sounds like fun. I got XP for just talking to him. Goodbye. Right, so he sent me to Shimmera Hunt. There's also the Spirits Quest, the Anzi, etc. So, yes. Lots of fun stuff to do here tonight. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think if we can get 205, then I'm going to do a rework on all the implants and such. Could also pick up some of the stuff for the Inferno Tours quest a little earlier. Like, you can pre-farm quite a bit of it before you even get the quest at all. But it's a good idea, it saves a lot of running around later. Oh my god, our little toon is running around in Inferno. Although, yeah, they're 200 now, so they should be. Probably getting chased by everything. What are these like? Still got way too much HP for their level, I say. That's it. No more XP to be gained on Rubicar. I did do the Dark Ruins the other day. Uh, yesterday, in fact, when I wasn't streaming. I just thought, oh, sod it. And when I went and did it, I did it in less than 45 minutes, so... It was kind of like, yeah, this isn't this isn't too ridiculously hard. Big meanie redeemed hydrate for 100. Okay, my lighting thing just half fell off. Oh well. Hydrate for 100. I won't be gargling. It's hot tea. I didn't record it, so I've done that quest so many times <laughs> on all my um, all my let's builds. Um, I just thought, nah, you know, we we've done this kind of, you know what I mean? A li little bit like that. I may need to fetch the crap out here and calm a bunch of stuff. Yeah, oh, it's quite fun, you know, the agents arrive, they're quite comical. Uh, you, you know, um, I don't want to give away spoilers on it if, if someone hasn't done it, but yeah, I just ploughed through it after I did my dailies yesterday. It's probably why I ended up levelling, I think I got a level out of it, doing, you know, the whole quest. Because I remembered the thing with the bottle, which is an extra reward as well. Naturally, Cole Lizard, I need one of your skins. So, like, yeah, you can die. If I can kill you. Which I don't know that I can. Because Enforcers are difficult to solo compared to a Keeper. I don't think I've ever done it on stream. I've certainly done it on various Let's Builds. Bio cocoon. And then cross reference the the old um, well we can't do any nano casting. We've got bio cocoon running anyway. It's kinda cool. Rather sameish, hitting with a big sledge ammo that goes thud every time. There's nothing else really to use for now, though, is there? Oh. 
It's a very satisfying weapon sound. I suppose, in a way, yeah. So I can handle one of these. I don't remember these ever being particularly hard to kill, though. But I want the um, coal lizard skin off of it. Thank you. Oh, I think my rage ran out. It, 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 when you hit something square in the nose with it and it goes stomp, there is there is some satisfaction to be had there. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, what's the... Is it a null week next week on freelancers? If so, I need to remember to be up... Go and roll it early so, it, so we get at least one out of it. Yeah, this week was Arbiter week. It was the PvP week, but I can't remember if it morphs into a DO week right after or if he disappears for a week ah so next week he's off and then the week after it's Dio isn't it hopefully I'll be high enough level to be worth bringing this tune along for Dio another player whizzing past me there I'm going to fail at doing this, so I'm going to talk to the Yotos at the end and pick up both the quests there, I think. You can get it at 201. It's just whether the Enforcer would be viable as an Enforcer doing Dio at, at that level. Because I kind of feel like now it's a race to get um, 215 and the DB Nanos. Otherwise, you're not up to snuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's see. We talk, I think I can do the first bit of the spirits quest down here. I think that's quite doable. Actually, while we're here, let's have... Oh, it looks very blue with Rubicar light. Okay, we'll go back to Inferno light. <laughs> right, the stories, the Anzi... That's, he's this one. I'm going to grab both quests from either one. But you'll be at least 208 by then. Possibly, yeah. If I can get a higher damage weapon on, I don't mind grinding a few Inferno missions solo. Um, and that definitely helps, getting a few of those in during the week. So this is, uh, yeah, the Zealots and that. They're quite uh, dicey, <laughs> let's say. And this one is the spirit, isn't it? I definitely want to get that ring as well. Ring of plausibility. I will help you. I think I can manage it. Let's go see. So for this one... Spirit Hunt. Five Contemplating Spirits. Let's go see. See how they run. Straight through my layers. You're evil. Can you guys see okay, or is it a little bit dark, maybe? 
reckon we can always um, flood it with a bit more light. Repentant, I don't need you yet. I need the other ones first. Gonna be out of range of that dude. Contemplating, come to me! When you can figure out a way to get up here. <laughs> Doink! Uh, I've got an unrepentant. Don't want you. Go away. Go away. Why did you become involved? Why can I not move the camera downhill? Can I tank both? Maybe. Maybe we... Oh, we can upgrade all the HUDs now as well. So now that HUD's a bit more worthwhile for a hundred evades. I, have, I don't know if I've got a fear yet. I don't think I bought any. Uh, that would be a combat nano. No, only mongos. Yeah, I need, I need to go buy nanos as well, don't I? I do not have enough. Thing is, I'll have to tank it for like umpteen more kills, which is. <laughs> Can I get rid of him? We got no. We got the reverse of crowd control. We've got the <laughs> hug mobs version of crowd control. Contemplating, come to me. Your target can't be attacked. Why? Why can I not attack it? The game is being an arse. Stop it. Go away. I want to fight you in four of your friends' deaths. And not before. Why is it... I think... Is it dancing? It looks like it's dancing to me. Now can I hit you? I wonder if that's from last week. <laughs> I wonder if that's from Space Quest last week. Look, it's dancing. Is this one he missed? Yeah, I think this is one that Space Quest missed. I better message him actually about this. Um, well, I succeeded in getting away from the other repentant spirit, but it's still here. Go on, just go reset. You can't hit me here. Go this way, we go this way. Um, is he got PMs open? Probably not. And a. What were they called? Contemplating. I've left a message for him. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't I didn't twig until I saw it dancing and then I was like I think
Ugh, fell off. Yeah, I think that is a throwback to last week, but no one else has um, mentioned it on Discord, at least. Nothing but bloody unrepentant spirits everywhere. It is the way. Whenever you want a mob, everybody else has already been there first and <laughs> killed it or whatever. Right, this time, just come here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a that's a um, a hangover to the last raid down here, which is like a little while ago. Not gonna lie, that's been there for nearly an entire week. <laughs> yeah, he goes oop. Better pop on later then. <laughs> I don't think it's broken the quest for anybody. I'm sure there's enough of them here that you can complete the quest anyway. I'm not seeing the ones I want though. What are you? You're a contemplating. He's back again. I don't want to kill it yet. I don't want to have to tank it while I'm killing another three of these damn things. Oh, I didn't give myself a crit buff as well. Zone to Penumbra. No, it's it is a literal. Um, I think Space Quest disabled any of the mobs in this area from fighting, so people could do, you know, do the do. I know I can lose these around here. But it is not easy. Oh, great. Okay. Got most of them reset. Come on, just run down this ramp. Just, no. They just don't want to play with me. Zone to pen. I would get rid of it, yeah. I think I'm needing more damage, though. That's what I'm thinking. More damage, please. Yeah, more damage would be better. It's just whether we can house more damage or not. The one that never buggered off. Fine. We deal with you then. It's a little slow going, I'd say. What do you think, chat? Feels a little slow killing these solo on this tune. 
little bit. 201, I can get a bunch of new HUD items as well. Screw you and your bloody debuffs and dots. I love rage for killing that off. I really do. <laughs> 201 and then we can put on the hold hell at bay and get the 500 nano resist. Then we're cooking. Okay, I've got your fighting. Music is still going. What is it that's fighting? Unrepentant, come to me. Been wearing this weapon for nearly a week now, Bear. You're right. I need a better one. Let's have a look. 1,479 in two-hand blunt, and that's before I do an upgrade on symbionts as well. I think I, I want to get the level, uh, do the symbionts, then I'll definitely have a lot more skill and start looking at a much higher quality weapon even. XP can running? I do have the XP can running. I don't have all the XP armor though. I'm missing it killing things like this. I may even go as far as just putting perks into um, AI, just so I can have, like, just have um, one and two, and then I can throw this armor on and off, pretty much. Layers. How are you debuffing me from over there? Okay, two of them. You're mine now. Yes, you are. Prepare to die. Okay, we're getting somewhere. All is looking good. Is it still a bit... It still looks a bit dark on stream. That's 200 gamma. That can't be good for you. Brightness to 200. That also looks kind of weird. There we go. Gamma 150, there you go. I thought it was fine as is, personally. Alright, oh, okay. Yeah, it feels slow, this weapon, still. It's never felt fast. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's try and push damage a bit. I am a big. I will hit you with a big. The quickest way to level to 205 now would be to join a Inferno hard mission in full XP armor. <laughs> but no. Plus, I think I would still have to twink to get some of this armor off. It's 2748. Yep, 100 off, so I would still need to faff just to get it back on. That is, even with running Mongo's Gargantua, I can probably get a better one now. I think there's one above. Are you... No, you're contemplating. You're no good. You are also... Com it's always the way. The ones you want are never where you want them. You're always surrounded by the things you don't need.
Now we've got nothing but compli uh, compli <laughs> complicating, uh, contemplating spirits now. I've got two of the buggers on me now. Dot be gone. And you can die. Check the stream via Chrome quickly. Unrepentant spirit. Yeah, it's it need more damage, but it's like before we can get that really, we should have better uh, um, symbionts, and to have the symbionts, we need the levels as well. So it's sort of like yeah. <laughs> you cannot win. Right, so now I've got to find Spirit of Disruption. It's usually in the middle there somewhere, I think. The other cheat, well, it's not a cheat, is you log your own crap, run in, calm everything, and uh, then you can pick off what you want. Is it near this side? Where are... I can't even find the mob I'm looking for now. Please have a static dungeon there. I think I saw it then. Ah, got it. Let me just dot you. Okay, you're dotted. I don't think the weeping flesh lasts long enough for this to work, but you never know. Yeah, it does. Why you don't throw away those little rings you got from the temple early on? <laughs> This is why. Because you can use dot pull as a tactic. Even though you're not capable of casting a dot, like a dock or whatever, or an agent can. Don't mongo here, you will just catch fleas. That's the only downside. ASA 22. Hi there, good lad. Ooh, you're now my favourite person for calling me lad. <laughs> Nobody does that anymore. <laughs> right, let's go for a bit of bio cocoon, bio rejuvenation. I so want a Mongo for the hop, but bad idea where we are. All the fleas. 
is this outdated? I am. I am a Spaniard. <laughs> And Mahalik lives in Spain, I think. He moved there, as far as I know. I think he speaks fluent Spanish now, though. He's he's marrying a uh, Spanish lady. A dancer, no less. You're sorry for him. I'm not. <laughs> Someone, you know, lithe and all the rest of it. Sounds like a good deal to me. That dot is killing me more than this stupid mob is killing me. Who was that? Who sneaked to heal? Or something? Someone sneaked to something at me. I think it might have been a Savic. It looked tall and it was healing. <laughs> Pitiful spirit of essence whispered psychic and intelligence. That's quite a useful one, by the way. I'm innocent. Somebody just ran in and healed me. And then run off with a bunch of spirits. I don't know who it was. So how did you fare? Right, see how much XP I get from this? They wouldn't talk, so I had to fight them. Good chunk of XP there. I think at this point is where I would need help on this tune, I think. I don't think I could take down one of the uh, the bigger mobs. Yeah, the Argef and everything. Nope. I could do it, but I'd need heals. Looking for volunteers now at this point, yes. <laughs> I need the helps. I don't know who that was. They they shot off with all the mobs as well. I think they ran quite away because there's one there. I don't think I could do the uh, Shimmerers either solo. I'll just have to cheer you on while watching. No problem, Savik. Yeah, somebody's run up here, because there's a few mobs that are kind of out of place, that they're not where they normally are, you know what I mean? So I'm kind of looking and thinking, eh, they're not normally there. That one has the moved, or, you know, sim something similar to that. Right, could I do these? I don't know. I could probably do the shimmerers, but I would need to bring my crat here and pre-calm a bunch of them, I think. That might be the way to go. Now we has the lag. It's funny you can't get over to there. We'll try the shimmerers, but I think I'll have to run my crat out and do a bit of calming. ASA, are you listening to music? I'm not, no. Just anarchy and myself i need to be able to hear my own voice to make sure i haven't done something like 
move my head over here and I'm talking away, but you guys can't hear a bloody word I'm saying because it's all gone quiet. Actually, my NT's not a million miles away. Let's run the NT here. NT calm should do. Or I can run, I can run Mr. Fatty Boars all the way out here. Yeah, the reason I wear these is I can hear the game and myself. And I don't listen to myself because I think, oh, I sound so good, I should listen to myself. It's so I know I'm not going, P -p 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 you know what I mean. Moppy, moppy, wait up. Why? <laughs> are, you, are you volunteering your services? <coughs> you were just behind me. Okay. Okay, well, let's have a look. Okay, I'm back. Is that you over there on a tune called Safety Pin? The 220 Doctor. To someone... I don't, I used it on somebody a couple of days ago and I haven't logged that character back in. It has a 300 minute cooldown and you have to be logged into game on the cooldown, which is kind of annoying. I could get brave now. Got one of them in. Immediately start taking a hit. Kill off the sparkling. <laughs> yeah, Shadow Breed has a long cooldown, and you have. The, it's not. You can just go. Yeah, yeah. It'll it'll be fine. It only cools down whilst you're in game. Doesn't doesn't cool down as soon as you log the character. The timer freezes. So kind of annoying. I got crap damage, but okay heals. You're probably doing more damage than me, you know, even though you think it's crap. Doctors right and left hand, they're okay, you know. They're better than you think. But docs are never really about that much damage unless it's Savix at melee doc, you know. And then you are the Uber of Doom. Alright, sneak around. Feeling confident with a 220 dock <laughs> healing. Uh, weekend, no. Which ones? I mean, we are doing the right ones first. No, weekend are the first ones we do. Yeah, if you can heal me, I can kill them all. I can hold the aggro, I know that. But I will need a lot more healing than you're probably used to. <laughs> <coughs> Dr. Anders, you guys not doing Inferno missions? Well, that's another option, I guess. Gets a bit same-ish for a stream, though, I thought, so... would love to join though. What we could do, we'll we'll do these um this shimmer portion now we've we've started it. And then we shall carry on. Maybe pull a team together for inferno missions, but 
As soon as I get to like 205, I want to do a bit of an overhaul on the character, get some better gear. I can pull it all on top of myself, which is whether or not you can keep me alive from when I do that. <laughs> I have got fairly good evades. If I go back to the defensive hood, things will take longer, but... Yeah, that UBT is making a massive difference. Yeah, we might do. It would definitely be the quickest way, especially at this level with max faction, is to do a few Inferno missions. I mean, you do three Inferno missions with max faction at 200, and pretty much you're going to be, like... I'll help up to the boss for this mission, then I'm off. I'd be hanging on the coattails of a full team for it to be, you know, decently good. Whereas the quest XP is actually really quite good. I mean, some people save these quests um, for research later. You know, if they're going to do a load of research at 220 with all the shiny stuff. And these quests are then a hell of a lot easier. So it does vary a little bit. Just we, we ain't got a lot of damage here. <laughs> you can tell. I think on the keeper I had the I still need weakened and we've got all these. This is why I was going to bring the crack, because I could have calmed virtually the whole playfield and then just picked off the ones I need. Yeah, the excellent SK. If you do these at 215, they're very, they're very easy to solo. And then, you know, you're getting a lot of XP rather quickly because you're able to fly through it. I didn't see the message for the Shimmer Hunt. I don't know how many more of the Weakened I've got to go before I start with the others. Okay, Cocoon is up. Some of these will be uh, grey for the dock, I think. Still need more Weakened. I haven't seen the update yet. But I can't see any at the moment. This is where it becomes a problem. Trying to get to the ones you actually want, and there's all this trash everywhere that you don't want. Weakened. Pull that. I have a lot. I have many mobs. Now I've got all of them, probably. I hope, you, I hope your heels are as good as I hope they are. Players. Do I have to be clan or in a team? That's two questions. If you are in level range and the same side as the person using Shadow Breed, you will get the shadow breed if you are a different side right crushers if you're a different side then you're gonna get you're gonna need to team to get it same as if you're low level or similar and you've got to be physically quite close to the player using it I think it's only got like a 25 meter range on it oh fab 
time to break my own faction. <laughs> Managed to pull him as well. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I'll pull them off here. Need to break aggro with that guy. Static dungeon for the win. Hello, static dungeon. We meet again. <laughs> yeah, Mongo doesn't care. Mongo just attacks everybody. Yeah. Wait there. I'm going to bring fatty boars down here. I think it's going to be the way to go. Calm everything, and then we just pick off what we need. It'd be a hell of a lot easier. Someone didn't did it, and it didn't work. Yeah, Mongo is a frenzied gorilla, not really precise and exact. It, yeah, exactly. Um, it is what it is. It's fine. Oh, good God, that's bright. Fatty Boars is in old Athen. And he's going to save the day by running here and calming everything. No, you can put that buff on an A, like, level... God knows. Um, uh, level 1, if need be. Um... But you just have to be teamed with them. You don't have to be in XP range with the 220. But you do need to be in a team with them. And close to them. Fatty balls to the rescue. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> it's like Indiana Jones music. Yep, that's him. That's Fatty's head. He also has a lot more run speed than the Enforcer. Yeah, over 2,000 on his own. And Fatty Balls picking his nose or being, you know, contemplative. We don't know. It could be either. The reason I like to get to... One of the reasons, I should say, not the reason... One of the reasons I like to get to 205 ASAP is I don't have to chase after grey mobs in Penumbra for a bloody doger. That's always a pain in the arse. And I find the Inferno one to be a better drop rate than Penumbra. Or maybe it is the same, you know. We just convince ourselves. It, it can feel like it takes a lot longer because it takes so much longer to kill a mob that's running away from you and regenning health constantly as opposed to, you know, everything else. Right, Mopey Mopey, if you wait inside that little static dungeon, I'm going to run this guy down there. Calm all the things. And then, yeah. Then we don't have to, as long as I remember, don't bloody Mongo, we'll be all right. <laughs> I need to... Re I, it's so instinctive to do it, though. But, you know, if you have a 220 crap, you're going to use them, aren't you? You know, there's like a million and one great reasons to use one.
got a tune if I need any help. Well, thank you. I will for a couple of the other, like, the, you know, the um, Sonfis Arkley, Sonfis, whatever the hell it's called. All of those mobs are kind of a pain in the arse at this level. Well, you know, they're just too much work at this level, truth be known. Not this level, not at 220, but, you know, to otherwise, they definitely are. See, once you get up to 2k-ish run speed, you can you can get past mobs that just don't register you're there until you're out of range of them anyway. So it's almost like you're kind of blitzing the play field a little bit. Right. effortless on the crap, doesn't it? <laughs> right, and you... I'm afraid it's shackle time. Don't want you running round and ruining everything. No, I use the Shadowlands um, calms them. They're a lot more powerful and easier to land. The first Shadowlands calm outperforms the best RK calm. <laughs> you just like calm a, a heckler in anywhere. There's no problem. Right, I think that's everything. So, not to waste time, Mr. Fatty Boars will crash out like that and log right back in. Yeah, the AoE mess on Rubicar is quite nice. It just barely works ever um, in Shadowlands. That's the only the downside. Um, like. The AoE mez, when you're having to do your, like, Smuggler's Den dailies or whatever. My god, it's a godsend. I dare say I can land it, I just like the... The other one. Oh, damn it, Tara's up. Right, come on. Mopey Mopey, are you there? Right, let's go. I'm on. We can pull them all one at a time now. Crushers. Crawler. Crawler. Weakened. You can't chase me. Big tune over there. Russia. Did you come to help, did you? Go on then. Okay, we've got a bit of lag. I'm only going to run in and tag Tara. Crawler. We are on crushes, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, we have a craft as well now. Yeah, Tara is a nice, quick and easy daily. 
if you didn't know. You literally just run in, ta uh, tab Tara, and try not to die running down there. Full, uh, pressure. And then it's a free daily. <clears throat> Mr. Kai 112. Hi, Will Dad, it's Kai. Hi, Kai. Don't mention <laughs> my lad's name. Don't dox us, please. updates on killing these either it's kind of weird but you know it'll be all right Kai we haven't seen in a long time right we've got those we need the boss thing in the middle the thing I rooted or oh, shackled <laughs> it's like mad shackles is like was it 27 minutes it can't move? Unless somebody breaks the shackle. Kind of bonkers, but hey. Right. Return. To Mr. Richards. Right, I'm going to use the beacon. Because it's quicker. I'm going to go back to Richards and get the mission reward. Thank you very much, guys. Right. Yo, Marshes is the n very, very nearest. So, let's go for that. God, I run slow, especially after running on a 220. You <laughs> log back into one of these. Remember to save before running off to Tara. I should. All right, see how much XP this gives us. It went well. Yada yada. The Song of Sorrow. Yeah, that's another one I might want to bring the crat along for. <laughs> Yeah, it's a fair chunk of XP. Goodbye. All right, I've just used that beacon I should have saved straight after. I'm going to wait that one out. Use the beacon again. Save him in Inferno. Whiz back to Rubicar with that and see if I've still got time. Should do the rest of these now. They can be upgraded. There you go. I don't have a spare insignia. It's all right, I've got 30 minutes until Tara is attackable, and usually there's enough time to get down there. Should be okay. I'm going to get some water because I've run out of tea and it'll be quicker. Yeah. 
So how is Kai? Kai, how are you doing? I don't think I've seen you in quite a little while. Where do we get the daily? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be going there very shortly. Seems I bounce back on the beacon. I know the key would be handy dandy, but by the time I farmed a token, it would be <laughs> like way too late. Tractor beam later, Carl. Later. You know, I'm assuming you're watching as well as playing, so. A day ago, mini feed. Mr. Kai has followed. Did Wills tell you about this, did he? <laughs> My dad streams, it's hilarious. <laughs> Now, don't do that on Darknet. Don't do loot rights and want to buy. People, I've seen people get into trouble for that. you got to do... Um, or Are you allowed to do it that way now? I don't know. They, they had a few different things about it. When can I use this? 201, you see. 201, but I need a 1,000 stamina to do it, which I'm not going to do without symbionts. Gonna have to do a bit of um, building up on the tune to get it to work. Come on! Right now, I can use it. Right, I've got. It says saved. I'm not sure. Let's just make sure. Character set. Right, okay. That XP is saved. Use Tother Beacon. Slightly bright. <laughs> and I'm going to run off and get myself stream sniped. Running into PvP territory on a stream. Guaranteed, almost, that you were going to die. Right, Borealis. If I die, I die. It is the way. You go down through the curtains here. Quite often you get like nightclub music and all sorts. Like that. You hand out missions. I heard somebody talking about Avalon. Goodbye. That's it. You've got the mission. Are we waiting for the... No, Tara has spawned. That's what that first message was. You know when it said, Tara Skew has spawned and there is... and will be immortal for 30 minutes. So you can't attack them for 30 minutes. So you get like 30 minutes to get there with whatever. So Tara is, is up already. down and die just realize you don't have spec 4 on your 220 amp have you not done the penumbra zan quest because you get it for free doing that you get if you do the adonis Bri uh, zan quest you get all of spec 3 
spec 2 you get most of doing the Yoto's quests in Elysium. And spec 1 is pretty easy to farm anyway. Someone else doing the same thing down here by the look of it. Because <laughs> there's a bunch of mobs chasing them. Yep. The Tara won't attack or be attacked. I don't like pen, just so cold. Yeah, kind of. I gotta run out as well. <laughs> Even more chances of dying. Running out always feels harder than running in. You gritted out, did you? It was just you and me on list. It'll be alright. Run out. You don't get stuck on stuff. You need more run speed. I've been saying that since I rolled the tune, trust me. <laughs> it's a known thing. Right, so now we return to the barkeep. Runs like a level 80. Yeah, something like that. What have I got? Self. Yeah, 1123. Compared to a fixie, yeah. If you want to get really fast, though, you want an Advi. Faster than a fixer. Both have um, green run speed, but Advi's got like up to a 13. You're so big. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, On a, a 220 agent running around feels like you're moving at light speed. I've completed my assignment. Goodbye. Okay, nice. And back to Inferno. As easy as that. Yeah, you're moving at the same kind of speed. It's just that when you're bigger, it feels slower. It's called the ground effect. Um, so, Lament of the Marla, or Search for the Nuclei, which is killing five of whatevers. So we could go and do those. Toolsy. Who's Toolsy? Another fixer, 220. Are you volunteering as well? Are you wanting to come and help? It's your ult. That's handy. Right, if we go to Sorrow. I sent a team invite to them, so... We've got to go kill the big Somphos. Do people even kill Tara? Oh, yeah. They want the loots. So, yeah. These are always fun to kill. <laughs> But on a 220 Enforcer, they're a doddle. Um, yeah, especially an Atrox one. You, you could pull the whole lot of them and just sit down and they wouldn't be able to kill you. 
just through sheer um, heel delta. You would just out your heel delta would just out heal all the damage they can do to you. <coughs> You've got no boots on. Do you not have any boots? This is a notoriously bad spot <laughs> for the new engine as well. You get terrible frame rate just round here. Um, it's okay facing east, but as soon as you face west, it's like, what the fluff? Right. Oh, God. Is anything coming? Okay, I'll kill it. We don't want any extra ads here or anything. I mean, yeah, if we'd have gone straight to, right, let's do an Inferno mission, I would have got more levels straight away, but I don't know that that makes good entertainment, <laughs> really. <laughs> I mean, I can talk for hours. Okay, so for the nuclei, we want our gaff. I pull one. Hopefully I've got enough space in my NCU for all these updates. Come on, ugly. All helps are appreciated. Yeah, Tara gets killed every time it spawns. Um, I don't think I've ever heard of it being ignored. Even if it's, you know, one team goes down and does it. It just depends, really. It used to be like a massive PvP arena kind of an affair. It used to be a lot of fun. Try and win the chicken. to no it's all yeah I haven't increased any IP since 199 <laughs> it just keeps saying max for title yada yada so at 201 you can start spending again which is nice so now these give yeah see now that's giving me a lot more that's giving me a lot more a Logie. That's an Argaf. I love this device. Aggression enhancer for the win. Pull a mob <laughs> like from as far away as it is possible to see that mob. That's slow. <laughs> I am so slow. The challenge. Yes, doing the challenger. Yeah, some people don't get there till the last 15 minutes and then, you know. Mm. Too many Arkleys, not enough Argefs. I have to change position slightly. 
Arkley, Logie, Argif. Bear87, do you need a hand, Kalos? I reacted, yeah. Still busy setting those prefs. Oh, lordy, lordy, redoing prefs. That's always fun. Yeah, you're more than welcome to come and help. And we'll definitely speed things along. Hit all these things with many pointy weapons and, yeah. I'm not hitting it for anything like the damage. <laughs> the other Enforcer is, but it seems focused on me. What are you? No good to me. No good to me. No. No. Also, no. What are you? No, you're only a Logie. Regular one. I think it's just one more Argef, I think. What did it say? Did it update even? One more Argef. Arkley. Argef, you'll do. So far away, you can barely see them on the stream, but then it still works. Okay, I think we got two here. Deceit of the Sand Toothpick does the job. It does. Don't kill that Arkley just yet. Need one more of these first. Pure and no victim to come through. Yeah, it's the orange ring. It'd be pure no victim ring for the infantry unit or something like that if you're going through a portal. I would check your bags if you haven't played for a, a little while. Yeah, if you've got that one, it will work for this and, uh, and the victim ring lets you everywhere. Right, ugly. <laughs> Time to die, ugly. Yeah, so the plan is a couple of shadow levels, if possible, and then some upgrading as well. Could be good. Right, there was plenty of uh, arglies, I think. Yep, there's one. Signet Ring of the Apocalypse, if you combine them all, yeah. Does it, does it actually change the stats on any of them, Sav? I don't think I saved all the rings. I think I deleted one to make room. <laughs> it was going somewhere. I've got a feeling I did. Yeah, it used to. Okay. Now it just changes the icon. Right. <coughs> that would be a bad idea for me. Because I'd be like, uh, uh, where's my ring? I've forgotten what it looks like. Whereas when it's the bright orange one, it's easier to remember. Looks like a blue hell, a hold head, hell at me instead of a yellow one. Oh, that would definitely confuse me. Because <laughs> I'll be combining that and then eventually getting the gem and making that blue, so then I'll be like, Bleh. what the hell am I doing? What am I wearing? Why? Probably get the class ring anyway, get the OFAB ring. 
reinforcer. I can't remember what it's got on it now, to be honest. Okay, one more of those guys. And then the boss. Stupid mob, attack the thing that's hitting you the hardest and that's definitely not me. <laughs> heel proc. It could be, uh, I can't remember. <clears throat> Excuse me. Coughing and spluttering all over you. statue in the Zan hub is will take you directly to pandemonium so make sure you've got hold hell at bay on when you get there <laughs> and then the portholes is directly behind you when you do um, warp into there it's easy to forget your way around Rubicar and Shadowlands you haven't played in a while Yeah, for the Zan area, you literally go up to the middle, where the four staircase, you know, dead tall staircases, where those all intersect at the top, is there's a, um, a little place to click behind the general or commander or whatever he is. to the auto. Run away! Yeah, if you click in the victim ring on there, it takes you to Pandemonium. It's the other thing, 201, I can enter the Zan area. Which will make life a lot quicker getting to and from places. See, with that, I could save in Penumbra uh, for doing doges and then just go to this. My god, he's so much faster than me. <laughs> Does it say which Yotos? It's back to the first ones, isn't it? So it's with a nuclei. One whose words happen to rhyme. Find the nuclei and. By the oh right yeah the uh, I think it's the nearer Yotos, isn't it? You don't go to the first ones, you go to the ones near Alb. Avoid Le Trist. Wow, I remember this game from when we got our first PC. I think it was from Tiny. It came with a digital camera. And scanner in cost all my parents Halifax shares they cashed in. <laughs> you know, now you really are going back. Yeah, 2001 in the game launched. And it's still running, celebrating 20 years of active uh, service. A lot of people, they catch this stream for the first time and they think they're watching somebody playing on a private server. It's like, nope. It's the same server. <laughs> your your old characters are probably still here.
Is it one of these? And there we go. One who's happened to rhyme told me found you have some nuclei for you. I hope they're what you're wanting. This should be 201 for this, I think. Let's see. Yay! 201. Bio shielding 10. And immediately. Bio regrowth. You'll go in there. Skills to raise. Yes, I haven't been able to raise any skills for about four levels. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is better. Oh, this is better. <laughs> Not like all of them were title or breed locked. It's horrible. And now I can increase them a lot more per level. Now I'll give you two some. Nano and casting, I'm not sure. Run speed, duh. Uh, combat and healing, oh yeah. Train repair, because, yeah. Right, that's going to do for now. Okay, what changes have the researchers done? Get the story from the Anzi Gopher. We will. Honest to God, when you're like one between, I think since since around 170ish, I haven't raised any base abilities because it just went. You have reached the max for your breed, and that's it. It's completely stuck until you hit 201. Then. You can't put any more into it, which makes twinking into stuff around that level a lot harder. Now hopefully the Anzi Gopher won't attack me. He sometimes does, however. I may have to run way past him and come back again, I think, with all these mobs chasing after me. Sometimes the Ansi go for attacks, and sometimes he don't. Can you tell me the story of the Uttos? Goodbye. And what looks amazingly similar to Libra's codes spawns in your inventory, and it's back to those of the Uttos. Is it based if you listen to the story or not? Ah, it could be, yeah. I don't know, being honest. I have had him attack me before, and it could be because I said that. <laughs> I don't care about your bloody stories, mate. And then instantly regretted saying it. The sound of it. I mean, the lad's watching Lord of the Rings Return of the King. Right. And more stories. And more XP. Check LFT Cal. Default. Two eight six eight. <laughs> Go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what have you learned? That's me. Name was taken. Oh, great. It does happen, unfortunately. All since the server merge. Yeah, you can send a petition to get a free name change if they've given you something you don't like, as, you know, a stand-in name. Do, do, do. How can I help you get the information? Goodbye. K 
capture the essence. That's oh, the uh, the meshes now. Yeah, quite often you get that. Rrr, what's it? What's it? What's it? <laughs> Who doesn't like R two eight three nine seven five two three eight seven? This is totally my new name. Come on, save. Character saved. Right. Um, Yoto Marshes. And this requires lots of killing and looting. I'm running out to, you know, over here, basically. I just went via the garden because I had the beacon. It was quicker. Thankfully, Lord of the Void doesn't instantly aggro on that bridge anymore. Although I am quite sure I remember a time when he did. So nobody ever went over the bridge who didn't have a death wish. do I need to kill? Primal understanding, etc. few random Sonfos here that I don't need. Conflicted spirit, there we go. You'll want. Yeah, I just need to loot the uh, doohickeys from them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did the, the same after the server merged. The mule I now have, I had to change his name. He he came back as rrrrrr numbers. I know some people who've just refused to change it and left it like that. Did you kill off the fiery shimmerers? that are down by my feet there. Giving me slight problems. The old Rubicar 2 Savic. Oh, of course, yes. You made your character on Rubicar 2 as well. And it went, well, there's already a Savic. One of them, two of them, and combine. One of us is in combat still with something. Meditating, yep, need a few of those. So they took your character's name. How very dare they. Yeah, it's these spirits and then there's a boss spirit in the middle.
Okay, I'm guessing they're in aggro. <laughs> She's level two though, so I never bothered. Yeah, I know what you mean. Just a handy mule. Need to make a bit of room here. Uh, uh. Oh, you give me the never ending beam of BS. <laughs> Meditating, I choose you. And we just got to keep combining them. Until you get the final one from... Need to move a few bags. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Meditating spirit. There's Marcy. Right, I need five in each one, I think, and then the boss guy. Spirit of Kill Hills, young. Need to get him at the end get his spirit as well. Right, another red. How many have got in there? Three in that. Three in that. Two of each more. lot easier with a big proper enforcer here. <laughs> Another red. I think that's it on that one. That's got five, so I think we just need the big ugly guy. Don't think you can add more than five. I'm just going to double check though. Yeah, that's it. I like how his fixer looks, yep. I like the goggles. The goggles are cool. The goggle look on Atrox is always pretty smart. There we go. Let's get this. Good place for farming um, spirits as well here. Right. Bring these to one who asks the unasked. Time to run. We're clear here. How do I see a mine? I can hear it, can't target it. Open up your actions window and you'll see this symbol that says search. Click that. I'll show you, you'll see like a circle around your feet. See? If it's inside of that, you'll find it. If you've got that uh, sticky green goo 
mission, it's bloody nigh on impossible to do until you figure that out. <laughs> Funnily enough, the old Shadowlands startup area actually taught you that. At the very beginning, it taught you how to do it. Yeah, it used to have a magnifying glass. Some of these icons they changed these to are, are crap. The old icons were better. I'm, you know, sorry to whoever spent hours, you know, making them very pretty, but the, the, the tiny little things, it's the same principle as making emotes and stuff. They've got to be, you've got to be able to figure out what it is when it's tiny, you know, and whoever designed them was thinking of the canvas they had in front of them and not how big the button would be, you know, in usage. So it just doesn't really work. Like Burst and Full Auto used to have pictures of bullets and stuff on them. And they were like um, emotes and, and the like, in that they were very easy to understand. Yeah, it's not clear at all. The old, the old versions were much better because they worked at the size you see them at. I've seen people going, I made this really cool emote. And then they show you and you go, what is it? You know, because it's this big. <laughs> Making something that works at that size is, is a very different thing. And for some reason, that wasn't thought of when these were redesigned. Right. One who I found the essences from the spirit. So there's one. One that's full. And another one that is full. There we go. XP, but not as much. What more do you need? Now, you don't always get max reward for each stage. Some of the stages are a little bit less. I mean, it's it's still good. It's just just a little bit less, you know. Right, what are we going to do? Chasing legends. Put the legend to the test. Oh, right, yeah, okay. I'm afraid I need more of that blood. Don't worry, I'm getting ten of them. Come on, they do stack. There we go. Awkward game. Is that just lag? Need more of that blood. Throwing up errors here. It shouldn't. There you go. See, it just works if you keep doing it. <laughs> yeah. I think that's lag, you know, Sav. I think that is genuine lag. The NPC's okay, but this is just... Come on, you silly ass! Combine. Weird. Is duck XP worth it for PVM? Yep. Wait till you get to Shadowlands. The Yotto supposed to be the... I don't know, really. They study the Zan, whether they are the Zan. I don't know. Why are you... <laughs> I don't know why it's been such an awkward sod. 
No, it's not only shotguns, grenade weapons as well, some of them. But um, mobs in Shadowlands will check against whatever they feel like checking against. been proven many many times I find the Shadowlands lore a bit confusing yeah it is Shadowlands was developed to be its own game um, it was then um, sort of shoehorned as a DLC for Anarchy Online Ten should do it. Right, so uh, frontier is about the nearest from here, I think. Yeah, originally it was going to be its own game based on the same game game engine, um, and then they decided that it would make a good DLC instead, rather than release another game. Just add it to the game they already had. Volpu. Welcome to the stream. How the hell are you, sir? How much? Nope. <laughs> I was just wondering, can I put the whole tellet bay on yet? Shadowlands recall beacon. Uh, you need the key as well, unfortunately, for that to be any use, which is why I never buy it. Because I tend not to do the keys all that often. The one I've got is the insurance recall beacon, which you can buy with veteran points from the vet store, which is in the tower shop at the back. Uh, it costs about 50 though. But if you played years ago for like three or four years, you'd probably be able to afford one for each character. And they are incredibly handy to just beacon to wherever you saved at. So it's worth checking out. The Shadowlands Recall Beacon, you have to equip the Garden Key and then use it. You off to bed, Savik? It is, yes, it's come to that time. It's, it's 20 hundred hours, you, my time. So that's uh, buble bath time. <laughs> yeah, so they tried to combine Rubicar and Shadowlands Law. So some of it's a little janky in places, but it sort of ties together, but just not very well. <clears throat> Best if you don't really worry about it. Kill off a few spirits first, maybe. Evading you. That's a good MA name. Eh? Let me kill off a couple of these first. Because they're a nightmare to deal with otherwise. I forgot to save Inferno. I will find my way there. Okay, dude. You've only just come back. Don't expect to act like a veteran straight away, because that just never happens. It always, um, it always seems to be you come back. I, like I say to everyone that returns, just roll a new tomb and level them up a little bit for a couple of days, and you, you'd be amazed what you do remember. Um, but you won't make a, you know, a prat of yourself because <laughs> no one cares what a lobby does, even if they make mistakes, you know. People are a little more forgiving in that respect. Yeah, honestly, people, I've said it to, you know, literally dozens and dozens of people who've asked. And I just reactivated and I can't remember a bloody thing and I'm gone, go roll a new tune because the way memory 
Memory work, work, remembering things works bottom up, not top down. Uh, so, let's say you, you, you played guitar in, in college or something like that, and you haven't played for 20 years. You, you're not going to pick up a guitar and play guitar solos and all the songs you used to know. But if you pick up your guitar and try play some of the chords you learned the first time round, if you try, you know, remembering the first couple of songs you learned, you'd be amazed how much more quickly you, re you start remembering other stuff. So rolling a new character takes you through that first couple of times that you dinged and... Oh, yeah, yeah, first aid kits, that's right. Uh, skill is, um, and you know what I mean? So, memory works bottom up, not top down. So, rolling a new character, actually, believe it or not, <coughs> will help you remember the end game stuff. Right, let's start at 12 o'clock. Does it pick up and use? Nothing there. I bought ten, maybe I should have come with more. Two HO graffiti is there a timer? Uh on what, the the flag, yeah. Really? Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. Eridonis, hey Carlos, hey stream, happy Friday, thank you, and happy Friday to you. You just missed Savix, he's just absconded for a buble bath. And to call it a night, as she does. Me trying to do as much damage as I can, even though it ain't much. A timer on the three graffiti. Um, not as such. I mean, you can do one, and you get like an eye a green thing in your NCU. Saying that you've done one. Sometimes you may think you've you've done it on the right area, but you haven't. Dave, three of five, just had my buble bath. <laughs> Did Michael Buble do a runner from your house? Fly supersonically um, to Savick <laughs> so he could run her bath for her and sing to her from the hallway. North end of um, not far. We're actually not far from the Inferno Tours guy and the Yotto near him. Just had this super cold that's going around the UK. The whole house has had it coughing like mad. Don't worry. I've heard that, yeah, but it's not a lethal cold. It's just a rotten cold. Right, I've got to return to the Yuttos. Uh, Yutto marsh marshes will get you here. Yeah, well, yeah, it's not, it's not that. It's just like you, like you say, it's just a rotten cold. But if you carry on washing your hands and wearing a mask, if everyone does that, you have a lot less chance of catching it. But you know. <laughs> It's not like we don't catch colds every year.
I'm running back to talk to the guy who will send me out. I think is after this I will need the courier's disc, won't I? Just wondering if now is a better time to go and get one. Find a courier lizard and, and get a disc from it so we've got it ready to go. Save time later. I'm vaccinated or not? I've had the I've had both the COVID shots. Because science, that's why. <laughs> yeah, I felt the first one felt slightly sniffly. Second one felt lightheaded for about an hour. Um something like about an hour after I had it. I was on stream as well. It wasn't that bad. <clears throat> but I could tell. But I was okay because it wasn't like I was going to fall over because I felt dizzy. I was I'm sat on a chair. <laughs> you know what I mean? By the eighth one, your body gets used to it. Oh, you've been around for extras, have you? <laughs> now, usually these are about, yeah, 100% drop. Okay, we got the courier part as well. Run away! Back to the auto. Yeah, I know. You're going to produce... Giga vaccinated, yeah. No, oh, we had a bunch of jabs when I was a kid. We used to get um, the vaccine against polio. We used to get it on a... Um, orally, like a spoon with, with a lump of sugar on it. I don't like sugar. <laughs> it just tasted horrible. Uh, we had the TB jab back then as well. That one does leave a scar, though, because that's a big needle, that. I had all those back, back then. Perfectly fine. I got the TB jab on my butt just after being born. Yeah, I, I suspect I did. And then... You get another one in... I remember getting one in school as well. Like a backup one. Now what do we not have any more? Polio or TB or smallpox. Because science. Yeah, it's not a live vaccine, but a lot of vaccines are not live. Meaning you're not actually being inf infected. It's just... It's kind of like... Um, taking a part of the outer membrane of the actual virus and introducing it to your body so your T-cells know what to attack if it ever enters. They instantly go for it and kill it. Non-live vaccine. You absolutely cannot catch COVID from the vaccine because it isn't COVID. It's, it's like they've took the armour off COVID and given you that. So your T-cells go, ah, oh, we know these guys. <laughs> Simple as that. So the response you feel is um, is just your immune system kicking in. You're not being attacked. It's your immune system goes, what's this? And, you know, tally-ho. And they all go, your immune system gets to work. It's just training your, your thing. Same as measles and... You know, all the rest of it. Do you remember pox parties being a thing? So you, you, you someone had measles in the street. <laughs> Everybody went round. You never needed a second one. I got one anyway. Joining the hunt. Uh, specially trained Zan, blah blah blah. Yuttos would like to get the essence possible. Relentless spirits, yes. Only spawn in a couple of places. Got dreadlock bear dropped. Need. Yeah, because I don't have it. <laughs> Is that on Rubicar? Have you, do you mean it's just dropped now? I don't think I can equip it. It's 2.15, isn't it? You know the spot. Oh, is it Moxie again? Yeah, okay. Give me a sec. I'll get to Moxie. I 
I think I have Zagama too high for Rubica. Made sense when we were in the bottom of the canyon in Inferno, but it might be a little bright now. There we go. No level requirement. I don't think I could get it on. It's like 2k plus, isn't it? Very, very quickly then. This this will be rather excellente. Right, logging my Froob fixer. That's pretty handy, Vulpu. Pick the right moment there. Right, Froob. Here we go, there's the Froob. I always thought it did have a uh, level requirement on it. I won't be able to equip it until I've done symbionts though, I think. Not to mention she bonked me once because <laughs> of lag. That's just rude. Right, give you some grid space. Uh, refresh on Hack and Quack. Better than I'm running. Aha! Okay. And... Oof! Ooh, Matron! Let's move this. You can't see it. I'm just moving my fruit fixer away from the grid. Because if you stood there like a smurf, ignoring everybody that says, please, can I have fixer grid? People think he's very, very rude, even though I'm just not looking at that screen, basically. One more. Uh, where am I going? Which is the nearest exit? I've forgotten. What number? I can't even remember where the hell it is on this map. <laughs> That's easy. Ten M, I would say, is probably the nearest. Yep, ten M. Yeah, they they've probably got their tune just logged in there to do, you know, their bidding. Are you up on the wall again, are you? Oh my god, even if you don't know Exit, I'm doomed. I don't remember all of them. Um, some of them I don't even think about the numbers, because I use them that often, like the one for the prisoner daily. I nearly always go for the diseased prisoner, so I know it's level 6 left. For, <coughs> for Milky Way. Depends how often you use them. I don't really generally think of them. I usually just... If you've got Savix map of Rubicar, fear not. You'll be fine. Usual spot, usual people. <laughs> Score is 1-1 one, one now. So, Moxie um, gave you a bit of a bonk on the head. <laughs> But you have survived. <coughs> One dreadlock enhanced bear. Wait. What does it say when I click it? Your two hand blunt is meant to be 2210, fast attack 1100, brawling 1321, and dimash 441. We're nowhere near that. Yeah, way, way, way off. Not that far off down here, though. So now, one less. 
Fast attack 11. Yeah, with a single buff, I'd fix that. Um, but a million miles away. <laughs> Thank you very much. A million miles away on two hand blunt. Need symbionts and stuff upgraded. But yeah, that does noticeably more damage. Right, okay, so as soon as this cools down, we go back to Shadowlands. You don't have to get the map, you already have it. If you click there, select map, I've got the double size, but Savik's map of Rubicar is included with the game. That's how good it is. Funcom went, you know what? Let's put your game in the game. Let's put your map in the game. Which is why we has the... Um, one of them. And... One of those. <laughs> so it actually ships with the game. Steam version, whatever version. Although there's no such thing as the Steam version. You're just downloading it via Steam, that's all. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm more than a little ways off using that. <laughs> might be, I might be able to get a little closer with putting symbionts and stuff in. Yeah, the you, you've got the old useless one. I can go to it now. Um, default planet map. Even that is based on Savix map. You can see it's got those there, but look how bloody small that is. <laughs> And that's zoomed in. Zoom out, you get this. And then that, and I thought, oh, God. Um, and then Savik said, no, actually, Savik's map of Rubicar. There you go, and you can zoom in. Gets a bit bigger. And zoom in again, it gives you, like, see there, Special Agent Moxie. But for my tired old eyes, I prefer Savik's map of Rubicar double size. It's just a damn sight easier to look at. Yes, I'm playing at 1440p. How far are you on 2HB? Miles. I need to upgrade the symbionts first. I've got 1500, so do the symbionts. 131, etc. Yeah, I might be getting closer, but nowhere near at the moment. I have... Uh, not all of them work anymore. I've got loads of old maps. I've got uh, default... Um, Peace Dove Forest. Do you remember this one? Dove's map. With the look, there's the old Wampa system. See how it's smaller than it used to be. <laughs> but then again, you know, we were playing the game at way small, uh, smaller, lower resolutions to what we play now. So yeah. Right, the things we need now are to the right of the jump off when you jump off it. It's some spirit mobs along there, I think. I'm just trying to think ahead if there's any other bits and pieces. Oh, Space Quest has told me he's fixed the, um, <laughs> the mob that was still dancing. <laughs> oh, God. Let me just check the quest. On Anarchy Online Universe, the best uh, resource for quests and such for the entire game. Right, a number uh, and Spirits Quest. There we go. Done there. Done there. Oh, Ash and Viper Eye is another thing we need to farm. Yeah, okay. I knew there was another thing. Has my timer gone? Almost! Yeah, so basically I want to get a couple more shadow levels so I can get these into shape. Um, 
etc. And then I'll be able to put a bunch of much better symbionts in and then have a look at how far off I actually am on stuff like that. No point trying to do it now because some of these symbionts are way out of date, like chess ones for level requirement 59, you know? <laughs> it's like, that really needs replacing. Right, I think the way to do this is let's get an Ashen Viper Eye first. Then get the Spirit as well. Don't need that right now. At least I can't outrun you two. <laughs> I'm going quite quickly now, I've got that. I've got the Le Fixer run buff. There's a few other little trophies to get from round here for the tours quest. Might have been quicker going the other way round the hill, but that was getting rid of things chasing me. Diversion. IT Oderi, welcome to the stream. Ashen Viper, give me your eye. If it drops, it's, this, this is the thing with this one, it's not 100%. Nope. Another one down here. Yep. One more down there. Go up the ramp again to pull it. Pulling it the smart way, not running into a bunch of ads. <coughs> well, I think it's smart. It's probably not that clever. Fernald Spirit Hunters. Yeah, there's like a dozen of those down there. you that's the only problem with these I think the last time we did this quest we did it with like um, three or four people or wanting to do the quest and then you come to this bit and you've got random chance of loot kind of thing wasn't great because then you're almost competing for the same items
Damn. I think we've had all the ones that spawn around here. Yeah, Ashen Viper. Usually down there and then a couple up the thing along here. I can't see another one. No, nope. I have to wait for it to respawn, I think. I can't remember if there's more near these guys or not. I don't think there is. Or is there? Oh, you feel the core of your being shift as the source makes room for a divine presence. Mexeron has reached enlightenment. Congrats! There's one near the creepy spider. Yeah, usually. A little harder to get to that one, though. A little more... Um, a few more problems with ads around that area. We can try around the creepy, yeah. Damn you. I'm not sure on the spawn timer for them either, that's the only thing. Uh, could be 15 minutes, could be faster. I don't know. We are quite a long way from the creepy spider though. I just want to see if there are more down near the, you know, the Vortex Void mobs? Isn't the one near those? I'm going to have a look. Now in your mind's eye you think, yeah, they're everywhere. And it's like, no, they're not. <laughs> 20 or 25 minutes, yeah, probably. I'm all right with this run speed buff I've got. I can outrun aggro. Like, I always think I can remember seeing one down here. Yes, that's because I did. making a really weird sound to me. <laughs> I'm not happy I'm having to fight two things either. I need to get a fear nano, don't I? You're too quick. I headed down to here by on the way to the um, feral vortex voids. If you've ever done that one, you get them on the Inferno's tour quest. Um, the NCU buff's gone. I should have renewed that as well. Someone gave me no <laughs> instinctive control. No, it overwrites the other one. Yeah, and I've got Atlas of Shadowlands. I can't remember what version. I can I can pass it over to you on Discord as a zip file. I'm not sure. It might be too big though. In fact, it probably is too big. Come on, lucky Ashen Viper. Ah, you swine. Any more? Is that still hitting me from... <laughs> Great. Oh, these buggers, yeah. 
I don't think there's any more ash and vipers down here. I think maybe that was lucky finding that one. I just have it in my head there's some down here, but... Nah, there isn't. It just, in my mind's eye, I'm like, I'm sure I've seen one down here, and in actual fact, no, you haven't. Which is one of those things. Killed a few there, though, so what was that? There was four in total we've killed and still no drop, so... Not the best. Blitz this. This will be funny. Dot ring. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm coming and I'm dragging. <laughs> oh, God. This was not a good plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, yeah, this might be a bit too much. We can maybe avoid a few of them. Just get them stuck. NCU Inc. Thank you. That's the one. Can't have a bigger one yet. Why are you healing up? Just run him round, Marcy. Don't die on your enforcer. We ain't got a dock. I think we just ran. further than they'll go at one point there. Oh god, I didn't even check how close I was to that. Regenning. This is why I wanted to bring the crap earlier on. Now you know. Need to keep that Ashen Viper targeted. It's gonna go back, it's gonna warp itself back. I bloody know it, right into the middle of the spirits. Is it, is it stayed? It has stayed, yeah. Feels like my mic's right in my way at the moment. I think I've slouched down in the chair. There we go. Yeah, my head was going lower and lower and lower. Right, now I can get rage again as well. I think there's some better symbionts in this Enforcer's going to be pretty good, actually. Especially with the um, Dreadlock weapon. And that's going to knock him out, knock her out of the park. 440 to 578 versus the OFAB, which is 279 to 407. So, yeah. Definitely a bit of an improvement. I think the, the only thing really you get in with 
this over an Atrox um, and is the evade. Possibly a bit more nano pool as well. So we've got some pretty nice rings and armor pieces. Uh, for twinking into stuff, but it's all based around high-level tombs, really. That's where most of my collected bits and bobs are. You know, so DB pants and sleeves and stuff like that. And then a ton of really nice pistols as well. Come on, lucky number five. Oh, you son of a... <laughs> Still no. Uh. GA1 paying 1.2 billion. What? Why? Why would you pay 1.2 billion for it? You don't think it's worth that much. It's not like you can't get to GA2 and 3 at lower levels. You're determined. Yeah, creepy spider spot is starting to sound more and more appealing. Oh god, I found the hole. It's not good. There is a hole in that ramp that's never been fixed and probably never will be. It may even be that it's supposed to be there, but... <coughs> You want to twink it onto a level 5-6? Yeah, maybe. Pretty big twink to cast it and equip it, though. I have lost my teammates. I suspect they may have died as well. No, you didn't die. Me getting everyone killed by playing like a loon. I'm thinking creepy spiders sounding good. I'm going to run this way. You're still on the spot. I thought there was a load of the spirit hunter dudes still there. Killed the whole pack. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I just have it in my head that those things are a little more common than they are, the Ashen Vipers. There they go, the Ashen Vipers. Putting the kibosh on the stream. Slowing our progression. <laughs> See, is immortal. Yeah, pretty much at that level. Just I have a lot of mobs, what do I do? Um, Mongo and sit down. Generally works. With the additional 820 to run speed though, I could avoid most of these mobs just by outranging them. I think that's a static there, isn't it? Is it? It looks like one. But it's not. Shame. That'd be handy dandy when your pull goes wrong, wouldn't it? And I will look up the run. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it is. There are a few, they're quite handy. I am back. Did you miss me? Of course we did.
No, I'm not seeing one. I think you go wait at the other end for the respawn. You don't have Inferno boots. You didn't make the ring instead, did you? And you just not realised that you've got a ring that you should be wearing. Would look like um, that. Because you may have done that, you know. Wee speed. Yeah, if you're fighting the Inferno Dot as well as everything else, it's definitely going to be a little tougher. I'm just looking up here, just in case, and not get too close to the Hex. Spa2112, welcome to the stream. Hello all on this fine stream. Happy, <laughs> happy Friday. Yeah, it is. Careful jumping off the edge here. Straight to, well, perpetual wastelands from here. Come on, respawn and drop a bloody eye so we can all go home. Mm. Stupid thing. How long is it since we killed the first one? It's got to be somewhere around 20 odd minutes. PW is a nice zone. Yep, it should be called Peaceful Wind Wilderness. Um, or something. Right, don't AFK because I'm, I'm going and getting some more water. So, very likely to die. Ah, uh, respawned. Nope, and also nope, bloody things. Is there a law reason? Um, it was an exit from Ash's um, office. It was his sort of emergency exit, but it turned out if you went through that door um, whilst in flight, it warped you into the dungeon. So, when they couldn't fix it, <laughs> they just decided to make it an entrance and took away <coughs> the, um, the bug which was, you must be in flight. Yeah. Funk on for the win. That's generally how they fix things. By not fixing them at all. 
bio shield. Yeah, oh, I saw red and thought it dropped one. It didn't. God damn it, you know, did absolute crap luck on getting an Ashen Viper eye tonight. Mmm! Is the other one spawned that's quite a ways further in or not? I think we killed them all fairly close together, didn't we, in terms of um, timeline. Yeah, don't go too far up. You fall through. Pushes you off, I think, actually. Ends Lyric, welcome to the stream. How the devil are you? Trying to get an Ashen Viper Eye <laughs> for later on. <laughs> it's just... It's not going well. Careful, there's a big meanie up there. Bigot, I am death. He's pretty tough, you know. <laughs> Just telling you now. Level 250 diner. Oh, it's not us. I thought that was one of us killing him. It is the somebody else over there. Fighting Mamu. Yeah, he's got UBT on him. There's a dock there as well. Urgh. Bloody mobs. My personal best is 30 kills to get the thing. We're on the little enforcer. We've hit level 201. We're trying to get a couple more levels, and I was doing it by doing some of the Inferno quests. Uh, but we've hit a bit of a brick wall because Ashen Vipers are being stingy with their eyes. You'd think, you know, I'm going to run the long way round and crash. <laughs> Yay! Uh. Crash is always fun, have you noticed? 30 plus kills on those stupid things. All my perks are going to be messed up now as well. As they are when you do one of these bloody things. Yep. They're all messed up. Do a reload, get them back. I hate when it does that. Just randomly locked. Good old new engine. Runs perfectly well. I think we're going to be all right. We get this and then... We don't even need this bit yet. <laughs> but it was like, let's get it now. Right, where's my compatriots? I've lost, I've lost the rest of the team. Are you still over this way? Where has you gone? Lost my team. Right, I'm going to run round to down by the vortex voids and just see if that other one's respawned there. You're back at the start. Okay. I will endeavour to head there. 
Hopefully be okay. So with that 820 run speed from who um, got lead. Small green shadow. Need one of them for later as well. Um, that's for the Inferno Tours though. I am just going to run over to the Vortex Voids and see if another one spawned there. I killed one there before. So with any luck... With any luck... He's back. I can't remember how long ago I killed him or what... Or even what the bloody timer is, let's face it. Another 24-7 week, so logging a bit late. God. Pulling some hours, my dude, you're pulling some hours. Aha! Uh -huh. He's back. Incredible Bob subscribed at tier one. They've subscribed for four months. Thank you for the resub, Incredible Bob, for being incredible. <laughs> Thanks for the resub. Give me your eye. Ugh. I don't think there's another one. He's just like a random one down here. Maybe try the one at the... Team did too little damage to get XP. That's a weird one. I'm guessing that's... Um, somebody else tried to kill it and it survived. And they did not. I'm thinking creepy spider area then. Which is back to the garden, really. It's that far away. That's going to be the quickest way to get to it. Um, yeah. But it is a bit dicey trying to get to the one that's near the creepy spider. <laughs> There's a lot of dodgy mobs there. When you're on a tune this level. If I remember rightly, we ended up going there once before and it was like... God. You can camp that spot. That might be a good idea. I am going to go dice with death and the creepy spider. Quick look around here. I don't think there's any. Damn, I keep feeling like I've seen one around here somewhere, but I'm probably lying to myself. Wishful thinking. You know, he's hiding there and there's a static. I actually know quite well. Having done many, many... Uh, <clears throat> collected many rings from it. No, there's not, is there? I'm just thinking I can remember one here and I can't. Probably them I'm thinking of. Crawlers. <coughs> yeah, if you want to camp that spot, Macy, it'd probably be cool. I'm going to go and check if I can get near the one near the creepy. Le box. <laughs> Since they're all stood on the same pixel. Right, I'm going to warp into the garden to get to it. Yeah, as someone using whatever software it is that all the clients are literally being multicasted to. You can tell by the way they move, it's weird looking. It's not like follow or something like that.
Thing is, getting up to the one near Creepy is going to be damned hard. I think the last time I was trying, I was struggling like hell, and that was maybe on the dock, I think it was. And even on the dock, I was struggling to stay alive. All this to get a few levels so I can put some better implants in. <laughs> Doing well here. Is that the same guy who wants GA2 for 1.8 billion? Decided he's going to twink a bit harder. GA2 is better though, obviously. Yeah, you've got to get round all this stuff <laughs> to get to the bugger. That's the hard part. No, oh, denied. Is there some invisible wall I'm unaware of here? Not let me run. There he is. I've no idea what else is chasing me though. Ah, oh, that way. Whatever it was, it was coming from that direction, I think. Hands <sighs> garden, you bloody would be, wouldn't it? Couldn't be something soft. No. Oh, f death by invisible wall, no thanks. Oh, f Anarchy crashed. Would you like help fix the problem? I mean, fix your bloody game first. Now I'm going to die and <clears throat> I'm going to log back in um, dead. Guaranteed. Just random crash to desktop. Um, desktop. In that situation at low health and everything else, you've got no chance. I'll be in the garden, I think. Nope. I got I, I got to see myself die. Thanks. <laughs> Never mind dancing around in a pool of bloody it's like the Veruca pool at the swimming baths. Yeah, it was bound to happen. Like I said, that, that place is um, stupidly hard to deal with. Which is why I don't think um, it ever got added to the to the map for the quest itself. I think they always just... You know, don't bother trying to get that one. <clears throat> it's weird, because on the keeper I've got, I can run down to the creepy spider with about 12 of those stupid things around it and ignore them. Just shows you, doesn't it? Right. So I've lost what? Lost the MP buff for a start. So, yeah. Maybe I can do it with these now. I could have maybe survived that if I'd have had. Um, With the run speed I had, I could have maybe done it. But then there was this stupid invisible wall as well. <sighs> Can I has infuse? Thank you. Oh, God. 
eventually I will type the correct person. Yeah, well, you, you're going to die or, you know, the stream's not worthwhile. I want to get that bloody thing now, I'm determined. That That's annoyed me into wanting to kill it. I kill you now. <laughs> I thought you were a big, big, tough thing, did you? I've come back with some friends. I want to kill it, though. Those little... The ads around there are, like, 50 levels higher than the mob you're trying to get. Stupid. Yotto's Geo Survey Dog. Right, running past the Spirit Hunter mobs is suicide, generally speaking. But running around the edge, and I picked up one of the. Um, Creepy Spider Defender ads. So you got all these stupid things at the top up here. Which are bad. Just saying, they are really bad. And up there you got the big mobs. So the only way to get to it, really, is this way or come in from a completely different angle. And then invisible walls of doom... I think that's someone farming creepy. That's the bloody thing that killed me. Probably. It's, it's off its normal place. So what, what the hell is this invisible wall? The hell was the... There he is. Oi, you. Remember me? Bet you remember me now. <laughs> oh, finally, Ashen Viper Eye. Hallelujah. Right, the. After all that, that was like nearly an hour just getting that stupid thing. Which is kind of unbelievable, I know. Yeah, if you're going to do this quest, maybe spend a day or two pre-farming some of the parts. Because it's annoyingly hard. Right, that's for after this. That's for after, Right, we need to go to Sorrow again, is the nearest from here. Or we could run the whole way, but... Honestly, yeah, From Sorrow is going to be quicker. Luck bringer. Yeah, you're not kidding. Yeah, back into the garden and out again, I think. And another rando drop part of the quest. Oh, hang on. Uh, ICC planet-wide announcement. Tid... Tidens 1 has been awarded the highest honorary rank for outstanding dedication to the defence of Rubicar. That Engie was there to team you. Anchor there and kill vipers for you while you were on the other spot. Oh, right, okay. Unfortunately, I completely missed that and died. Right, exit from Sorrow, and we've got to go and kill the slightly easier uh, what's-it mobs for the actual mission, which is somewhere in this big old list. 
Not the Lament of the Marla, that's the other one. Joining the Hunt, that's it. Relentless Spirits, which are pretty much only in one place from memory. Right down the arse end here. Was there after you died? Was that you? Yeah. <laughs> so someone killed the guard, the um, Anzi guardian, which was the thing that probably killed me. I was going to try and kite it, and then went, "Oh, hello, invisible wall," and then crashed, and then managed to log back in just in time to watch my character die. <sighs> People out hunting for doges, I'd say. Not a lot of Somphos here. At least I don't have to do the Mantis daily again. Always takes far too long. At first I wanted to pet that mob, but they attacked. All <laughs> right. Let's get the dodgy running past mobs we don't need done. And then see if we can't just do what you're told. There we go. We need to start pulling these dudes. Relentless spirit, come to me for some death. Come hither, have death. And this is another one that's random drop as well. So doing this quest in a team can be quite time consuming. Uh, for a minute I thought I'd pulled a Mortig. I'm kind of glad <laughs> that's not the case. It is, in fact, a big green monster of doom. Right, are you going to be lucky for me? Essence of precipitation. Yes, you are. Yeah, for a second or two, you went, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> right. Uh, that's it. That's it. I only needed one. Then we run back and he sends you out for the Ashen Viper Eye, which we've already got. So it just saves disappearing twice, I think. I think that's it. Then he sends you to the, get a courier lizard thing and back to Joe to talk to someone. Or some such thing. Run round here with that 820 run buff gives me, yep, just over 2k, which is a lot more like it. <laughs> you want 2k if you're going to be running round Inferno, let's face it. down to the Yutters. I got a message from Space Quest. <laughs> Clearly not watching the stream. Down to the Yutters. Do the double hand in, I think. That should get us 202. A bit more. And that should be close enough to try for some better symbionts, I think. At least, you know, that's the plan. I'm one of the rest of the bleh. 
I'm too tired to read all that. There you go. Thing. That's not much XP. He says. What do you need? Find me the snake eye. And... I has. I found the viper eye for you. And... Again, not as much XP as I was kind of hoping for, but okay. There's a lot of lore here to read as well. Right, this is the bit where I go back to Job, yeah. Right, and Beacon. Fenrir. I know that person. I'm sure I do. Might need a bigger boat for Victor Novak, though. That's always fun, that one. Oh, Victor Noe, yeah. I know it's Victor something. Victor Annoying. See, Noya, they spent and spelled uh, annoying wrong. <laughs> sort of. Your XP went to research. I know because I have it set on 10% XP to research, but not like 100%. I nearly always have it on around 10% um, generally. Because before you know where you are, you've done quite a bit already. It doesn't go to 100% unless I'm really chasing after one of the research lines. But yeah, some of it went there. 10%. Talky to you. And we're going to see Eddie, me seller guy. Ends Lyric, have a good night. I'm off for hunting. Ooh. Stay safe. And <laughs> be lucky. Yeah, there's S SK there, you see. Shadow Knowledge. Only 2k for those two hand ins. Um, some some of the quest stages give less XP than others. Right. Blah, blah, blah. I think we get more for handing in this next bit. 202, I should have enough IP over to be able to put the bigger symbionts in, I think. Not 100% sure. Goodbye now, and he sends me to get the description, the decryption tool from Eddie. We will. Yeah, you always see at this level, you will see much bigger numbers going into um, research rather than anything else. But it's just certain stages in the quest are a bit that way. I think my perks are probably broken as well. Yeah, they are. I need a relog at some point. There are 
better symbionts than your chest. Oh yeah, that one's... I put that in at like level 60 or 59 and I haven't changed it because the next one was just way, way higher. Too damned high, in fact. That is a low quality uh, symbiont at this point. A couple of them are that level. <coughs> I'm sure I used to have um, like 100s and 120s. I might have sold them because people were paying silly prices for them. I can't remember. I would have to go back and watch um, what I did on the Keeper, I think, to figure out what I did with them. I checked the Keeper and then checked, the, <laughs> checked their uh, GMI just to make sure. Not you. Where's the other dude? It is up here, isn't it? Mr. Eddie... There's Eddie. Yeah, Eddie. Me, Eddie. Who are you? Me, Eddie. Me, seller guy. What do you do? What is that quest for? E e for the uh, ring of plausibility. Eventually. He only gives us that. And we get, give the tool to the one who asks the unasked. So, beacon's just cooling down, and back we go. So at the end of the quest, you get the ring of uh, plausibility, which is uh, 20 to sense, psychic, intelligence, and agility. Very handy ring for twinking with. Given that it boosts all those stats at the same time. Um, and some tons of XP you can't really feel it 201, 202 <laughs> it's a lot of research I know that um, it is usually better to do this quest later but yeah it's a no drop unfortunately so if you want it on a character you've got to do the quest for it I mean, like Volpu says, you're probably better doing this quest around 2.15 when your character's probably strong enough to just breeze through it solo without needing help. And you'll get a lot more XP out of it in terms of percentages and stuff. Yeah, level, re level requirement 59 on the chest implant. <laughs> Which is awesome when you're in, like, the temple and running around there. Not so much <laughs> post 200. Oh, yeah, 219 for the research bump. Yeah, makes more sense. I'm just doing it because it's... the bit less boring to watch than um, just pulling a team together or trying to get into um, an Inferno XP team, which would definitely be a more efficient way of getting XP. Not going to lie, but, you know. Yeah, I've done it at different levels on different characters, usually. Inferno Tours is another one that's a ton of XP at higher levels. I did make a start on it just to get the beginnings of it done. Plus I'm also handing in in-team, so some of the XP's bleeding off a little. <laughs> the quest is very cool to see it done at 2.01. I think I did it earlier than that on the dock with Savik. So basically god mode when you've got Savik's dock with you. Right, mister, I found the program. I show him the program. Okay. 
can you go and get a thing which we pre-farmed? That is the message I found. And there you go. Uh, not quite. Disappointed! <laughs> that guy. I will help you. Confronting the scientist. This one's always fun. <laughs> we need more people for it, though, I'd say. Just the ads alone are a pain in the backside. Uh, they've got massive HP on them. In Inferno Frontier's the nearest. Just wait on the cooldown. Uh, what do we got with us? So we got you. We got um, Marcy, but Marcy hasn't got Inferno boots, so he's struggling with the dock. Could do with the dock, to be honest, to do that bit, or just leave it for tonight. I don't know. Oh, you borrowed your MP's boots. Makes sense. That's probably what you've done. Is is borrowed them from one tune to another um, but hey yeah the scientists almost certainly want you might be alright on a fixer actually you might be able to tank the thing I'm sure I've soloed it on fixer before but that was an op effects fixer so really high evades on him I will sponsor boots and rings for the one that is helping you. Well, there you go. Did you hear that, or did you read that on the stream? Because that's Macy, who's, who is in, who is in fact, not saying much in chat. <laughs> Needs to know how many boots and how many rings. For Macy 20. Yeah, bring your enforcer though. He's pretty bloody good. I mean, he's got an ACDC and everything else. Yeah, you just need to do that and combine all your rings together. Then you'd be good. Default says, I'm all set. Thanks, though, Volpu. So he's saying he's okay. We got Annie, who I'm guessing wants to come with. We're going to go get Victor. <laughs> Annie is my info, by the way. Okay. Dual logged. Yeah. Might work. Um, the only thing I'll say about this one is... Go in, deal with the ads. I talk to Victor. Victor spawns a bunch of shades. We kill the shades. Kind of ignore him. Don't take Victor down much below half. Until he respawns the third time dressed like a shade. And that's that's the end of the quest. But if you kill him before he becomes a shade, <laughs> it breaks, and you've got to go and pull it again. All right, Inferno Frontier. Dr. Anders, I can log an MP if needed. Yeah, more the merrier. I'll probably mess up too. You just gotta hold it, hold his aggro, and not kill him. He disappears on you. You see, he disappears. So 
he, he he starts off and he argues and goes, well, deal with my little things of doom and spawns a bunch of um, shades in tattoos and stuff and you kill those. He gets really annoyed, starts fighting, then once his health gets so far down, he disappears, leaving more shades for you to kill. Then he comes back and you take his health down to, like, you know, 25%. He disappears again, but when he finally returns... He comes back like a shade, then you can kill him. If you kill him before that, uh, it breaks. Right, let's go. I have to deal with the ads in there first. There's quite a few of them and all. And they have the big HP on them. You know, like um, the spine tooth type mobs. Annoyingly big HP bars. There's like a bit of a sneaky path up there, which I'm trying to remember and run. There's like a little low hole in the wall. Oh, hello. Somebody's already here by the look of it. There is carnage going on. That's our guy. I get the feeling somebody's here. Because most of the mobs are gone. And there's engineered shades. Has someone come and sort of died here or something? Forest Thump. Team me as well. Okay. Let me try and talk to him. Your experiments have gone too far. Let me just layer. It seems like Dr. Anders... Now they've got to speculate, unfortunately. I'll invite anyone, you know that. You've seen Saturday streams. Right, engineered shades. Kill, kill them. This is a nightmare when the ads are here. They're all massively in the way. Yeah, Dr. Anders has got work stuff, they said. And we've got the Marla. What sound does the illegally uh, dreadlock um, bear make? Does it do the thud sound as well? Yeah, you got to be careful with Mongo in. <laughs> trade is being fast. Forest Thump. <laughs> I love that, that's cool. Yeah, finish them off and then Victor gets annoyed. And we hit Victor for a bit. Victor buggers off. Then he comes back again. Do not kill him yet. These ones are old. The prototype will wipe you guys out. Right, wait, 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 wait. 
Right, you have to wait for him to come back. Right, don't kill him. Do not kill. Yeah, don't kill him yet. Take him down a little. should return the third time as a shade then you can kill him there you go Victor Novak dressed like a shade kill yay that works got the mission update music awesome source so now I don't know where the missions disappear to. But anyway, thank you very much, guys. That's the end of that quest. All I have to do is return to the Yotto, which I'm going to do by the garden. Now I'm going to do my ballet interpretive dance thing. For reasons but yeah that should do it I go back thank you very much and let's not run into the middle of nowhere when we're typing yeah so I go back talk to the Yotto I get the ring which is gonna help with the um, symbiont upgrade I want to do anyway be honored to help you. <laughs> no, you yeah, yeah, shut up. <laughs> it's good fun, but yeah, it's good to get on your high B tunes again and give them a bit of a dusting off, eh? And now, finally, we go up the ramp again. And then it might be a bit late to start doing symbionts and stuff for me. <laughs> it's getting on for 10 o'clock at night. Um, and tomorrow is a long stream. As you know, we do usually do uh, Hodor, followed by an hour of whatever. And then it's time for the aliens. We shall see. I'm going to feel so slow when this <laughs> that 820 fixer run buff runs out. Yeah, Saturday stream is usually about four and a half to five hours long. So I want to kind of, you know, don't overdo it tonight because you want to be a little fresh for tomorrow. If you know what I mean. Well, it makes no sense. You think, what do you mean? You just sat there yapping away and playing anarchy. How is that hard? <laughs> Don't ask me, it wears me out. Re Geronimo. I'm just trying to remember if... what the requirements are for the ring of plausibility. I'm hoping I can get it on. It was going to be my secret weapon for getting the symbionts in a bit earlier. We shall see. One who asks the unasked. I return with news. Uh, blah, blah, blah. My bad two names don't match my nickname. Well, you know, it's up to you, isn't it? When, when I came onto Twitch, I thought the possibility is I will try and stream. There we go. Ding, d research, perk, all the things. Uh, I want... Yeah, Bone Crusher. Two and Blunt 30, and then this one's at 203 for an extra 55. Goodbye, and this is the ring. So, sense from 420. Ugh, level from 205, can't use it yet. Intelligence from uh, 440. So, agility and sense. 
intelligence and psychic all for 20. If I'd have checked, I'd have realised you can't use it yet. Uh, but we're 202 now. So we can actually get a bit more done here. There we go. And here. I should be able to get some of those symbionts in now, though. Without, you know, ridiculous amounts of effort, which will push up the two hand blunt close within spitting in distance of this thing. Have a look, fast attack. Not far. I, there's a bazillion and one fast attack buffs I could get. Uh, exploring. Yes, more run speed. Combat and healing. Oh, yeah. Get that treatment and first aid up. Train repair. Bigger NCUs. Right, okay. I think I'm about there on that. I'm going to use that beacon to get back to Ruby Car. See, once I do that, and then all of... I think I can do enhanced DNA 10. Let's get out of here. Let me out. Brutality 8 as well. What, did, what was Brutality 8? Yeah, 50. Two-hand edge, two-hand blunt. A bit more fast attack, and then 60 at the end of it. And seeing as that's based on our primary weapon skill, it's a good idea to go for that one. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit late for me to start resetting perks and trying to get uh, symbionts on, but I'll probably do that tomorrow before the stream, I would guess. Probably, anyway. Shame I can't use that straight away. Because that would have made the getting the symbionts in quite easy. You know when you get one that's got its psychic and its sense on it and you're like, <laughs> I can't do both, damn you. You can, you just, you need the right tools for the job. Uh, I mean, where are we on these now? I'm just looking. Yeah, agility is quite a bit lower. Uh, I think we can maybe get there. Zen what? Zimit has used his 500 bits. Cheer 500 grats on the ring and see you tomorrow. Best regards, Marcy20. Thank you very Cheer much. Cheer on ring and see you tomorrow. Best regards, Marcy20. There you go. He said it for me. I didn't need to. And also... Zenithada, dear. 213 has followed. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. So we'll be back tomorrow, a little earlier, um, but it is the longest stream, so join as and when. Uh, I will be following Space Quest around. Uh, he's looking at new... I'm just talking to him now, actually. He's just messaged me on the Discord. He usually just goes... Most of his messages are LOL and pulling tongues emoji. Usually right after he's dumped 500 Seekers on top of my head. <clears throat> yeah, so he's doing a bit there, yes. So, Hodor! Um, this M is a little low to be taking into Hodor, I think. So, not not because they couldn't survive there, just because... If you turn up on an enforcer at this level, some people might expect you to save them or whatever and pull all the aggro off them and you can't handle it. So, yeah, tomorrow daytime, if I get the chance on Saturday to log in and do a bit with the tune, I'll try and do the uh, symbionts and whatnot then. I've got a few to put in and a few others in bags somewhere. So I'll try and get them all done. So thank you all for coming along to the stream. A pleasure as always to see you. I will be back tomorrow around the same time. So a bit of Hodor, a bit of something else, and then aliens. Um, and I don't know where they're going to be yet, because that's why Space Quest is messaging me going, I was thinking of these places. I'm going, uh, hang on, I'm on a stream. Let me get back to you in a second. <laughs> so yeah, Pan Raid, I heal. Yep, <laughs> that'll be cool. Oh, uh, yeah, this, this tune's got to go tank the beast, or it's just not a proper emp. Right, before we go, before we go, can we find another person streaming anarchy? Let's have a quick look, because we like to do some raid age. Okay, there's me, and apparently that's it. There was someone streaming in Russian, 
but that was 11 hours ago, so they're gone. Uh, and Kitty something. Also, yesterday. Okay, so there's nobody currently on. What about Mr. Che? He's probably finishing up now. If he's on at all. Looks like he is. Uh, anyone else? Ah, Kia is live, I think. We'll go raid Kia. They're not playing Anarchy, they're playing something else, but I'm stuck watching an ad at the moment. I just want to see what they're doing. Yeah, they, they actually work for Funcom, so, you know. Uh, we should go raid them and say, how about some how about some more love for Anarchy? No, don't do that. <laughs> right. Just make sure it is them. They're playing shooty shooty. Okay, cool. Yeah, they're the head of... They're like the chair of their customer service sort of thing. So, send us all over there to go say hi. Come on, all of you, come and come and give give them some love. Is that all is that all that's going? Is that everyone that's going aboard? I'm not sure what she's playing, it's some kind of shooter. Looks quite cool actually. Give give Anarchy Online some more love. <laughs> yeah. Okay, only seventeen wanna go. Right, fair enough. Right, we're going to go raid. So thank you all once again. I will see you tomorrow, and I'll just say bye for now.